Last night, I got to attend an event for Miss Universe Philippines, and there's a couple of things that I would like to get off my chest and some reflections that I would like to share with you guys, if you don't mind. So last night, it was the sponsor's gala dinner and I was invited there by Miss Universe Philippines and Mama J. So thank you so much for the invitation. I had the time of my life. I met so many incredible people, sponsors, team members, you know, just the backbone basically of the organization and the people who absolutely make it all happen. Shanice was there, so I got to see Miss Universe in person again. And most importantly, I got to meet a lot of the girls of Miss Universe Philippines this time around. Not all of them, because of course there's a lot of candidates. I don't always get to have a one-on-one -on -one with them, but I did get to talk to a lot of them. And it really hits me every single time that I get the chance to interact with these girls. First of all, how absolutely sweet they are. A lot of them will come, take a moment to talk to me and tell me, you know, that they have seen my videos, that they appreciate my content, that they, you know, look forward to see if, uh, if they're featured on my content. And to me, honestly, like up until this day, I still pinch myself because just a couple of years ago, not really long ago, maybe two years ago, I was filming videos from my home in Montreal, completely on the other side of the world. And I never thought that I would be able to walk into these rooms, meet the girls in person, the team members, their families, everyone, and just like experience it in the flesh, right? And it kind of made me realize that there are so many girls in the competition. There's over 50 candidates this year at Miss Universe Philippines. And as a content creator and someone who tries to make content about pageantry to keep the people updated, it is so challenging sometimes to feature every single one of the contestants. Why? Because there's just so many. And one of the things that I always tell the girls is to keep in mind that I make content for the audience to keep the pageant fans updated. It has absolutely nothing to do with them as an individual, as a person. It has nothing to do with their potential, with their capacity. I basically just entertain the audience. And I'm saying this because I know as someone who also competed in a pageant that pageant contestants look for validation online. Sometimes they want to be featured, they want to receive feedback, but it's very challenging to give that to every single one of them when there's more than 50. Sometimes if there's like a major event or one of the challenges, I will try to go live on YouTube and kind of like cover the entire thing as much as I possibly can in order to provide individual feedback. But sometimes it's so fast paced that you can't really take a lot of time for every single one of them because otherwise the videos will be so extremely long and the audience will get bored. Anyways, the point that I'm trying to make is that if you are a pageant contestant, if you are currently competing at Miss Universe Philippines or whatever other pageant that I am currently covering, just know that your worth, your value is not limited to the ranking that people give you or the comments that you receive or the feedback. It all depends of you, of your performance, of your capacity, of the effort that you're willing to put into this competition and ultimately how well you align with the vision of the organization that you're working with and with the team behind them. I'm also overwhelmed by the amount of love and support that team members come up to me and they talk to me about their girls, they tell me about the gowns, they tell me about the preparation, they tell me about the photo shoots and all of the pasavo that they have prepared. And this is when you realize there are entire teams behind these girls. It's more than just one girl's dream. It's more than an individual effort. There's literally a group of people behind every single one of these women. When they say that it takes a village, trust me, it ain't no joke. It honestly does take a huge village of people just to put a beauty queen together. Last night, I also got to meet some of the parents and I'm always so emotional when I see the moms, the dads, they're so proud. They want their daughters to do so well. They're willing to do anything to make sure that they feel okay, that they're ready for the competition, that they're in the right mindset, that they have the right support system. Um, and again, I take all of that and I reflect it in the type of content that I do and this is why it's so important to me to put it out there that it's not because you are not in a video or you are not featured in a couple of contents or you're not featured at all that it means that you are not worthy. 
if you are taking time out of your day, your energy, your finances, we know that pageants are not cheap. We appreciate you more than as a content creator, as a pageant fan. You are giving us entertainment. You're giving us Pasabog. You're giving us something to look forward. We have activities that we can attend because of your effort, because you're putting yourself out there on the line, because you are willing to sacrifice and potentially even be criticized by joining a pageant just for the pageant fans and the pageant community. So for a moment, forget about me being a content creator, whatever you want to call it, blogger, analyst, whatever it is. Just think of me as a pageant fan. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for putting all of your time, money, effort and giving us an incredible show, an incredible pageant season. We are so happy. We are so excited to witness everything that is prepared for us. To me personally, it doesn't matter if you make the top 20, if you make the top 12, if you make the top five, if you win the crown. If you went into the competition and you tried your absolute best and you gave us the best that you could provide at that time, you know, in that particular moment, you are already a winner. Our girls work really hard. They put a lot of effort into their preparations, their advocacies, their looks, their teams. Rabbi, I look crazy. Sorry, guys. Outside of rankings and predictions and leaderboards and topics, girls, if you join the competition, thank you. I see you. I appreciate you. You girls are incredible. I cannot wait for prelims. I cannot wait for finals. I know that you will all shine and I will be the very first one there in the audience rooting for you all. So I'm ready now. I gotta go. I have some videos to film and I will see you guys very soon. Bye. <laughs>